Yesterday was Christmas, and I received this welder as one of my gifts. It's a small welder, like a tabletop system, 110 volts. It's made by Smarter Tools, and it has a option for 49 amps or 70 amp welding. It is a stick welder, and I've used it to weld several things now. Well, I say several, two or three things, I guess. And so, what we're going to do now is start welding this base plate. This is the third update to the drill press project. So here we go. I don't know exactly what type of steel this is. Uh, it definitely seems hardened. But as you can see, it is broken into three different pieces now. Uh, in part two, I showed you how it broke when I was trying to disassemble the drill. Now I'm going to attempt to weld it back together. I'm going to start with a few spot welds to hold it in place and then I'm going to run a bead and seal it up. I don't know anything about welding so my terminology is going to be off. Um, my technique will probably be off. Uh, I got this welder yesterday so bear with me. I'm trying to make this thing functional. It doesn't have to be gorgeous. Obviously, I would like it to look as close to original as possible, but it's not going to be perfect. Once I finish welding it, we're going to hit the grinder, and I'm going to grind it back smooth, and we'll see what we've got. I'm going to be welding with 6013 rods at 70 amps. So, here we go. back in one piece. Unfortunately it's not as even as I would like it to be but I'm gonna go ahead and fill these gaps with um, with a weld and then we're gonna smooth this all out and I'm gonna make it the way I want it.
can feel the heat through my insulated gloves. I don't know if you can still see the smoke coming off of it, but this thing is still incredibly hot. But they're ugly, but they do seal up the holes. And now we're gonna grind them down smooth and try to get this base plate back in order. And I'd like to go ahead and redo the bottom here, seal it up all the way as well. actually gonna have to go back and redo that weld and I'm gonna continue cleaning this up and that's all I've really got for an update I'm going to next I'm gonna try to weld the rod back together and then try to put this thing back together since I've saved hundreds of dollars on buying these parts again um, I should be able to pick up the pace now that's update number three thanks for watching make sure you like and subscribe that way you don't get you don't miss the uh, updates whenever they're uploaded.